lives in a world filled with distractions and, uh, and those competing voices in our head and all around us the call to withdraw and pray privately becomes a radical act it serves uh, uh, as can you give me my time please it serves as a, a, a reminder that God values our sincerity over the accolades of men Sometimes folk want uh, men to pat them on their back because they can stand and, and they can pray and it sounds so profound and they use large and large names and words in their prayers and it sounds like they got it going on and they're looking for accolades uh, of the men that's around them that see them and hear them. God says they, they've already got their, their reward. But he, he, he warns us not to be uh, like them. Don't stand to get accolades from people. You stand and you pray for in sincerity so that God will move on your behalf. True prayer is about cultivating that sacred relationship up where our hearts resonate with his and our lives reflect the change born out of what that profound connection. So when we pray to God, um, some of us uh, have prayed for the Lord to forgive us of our sins and to clean us up from the inside out, to make us a follower of him. He hears our prayers and he changes uh, you. And now you are a born again Christian because you've invited him into your heart you confess your sin and God heard it and he changed you from the inside out say so she's at point two point two the model of a prayer the model of prayer in verses 9 through 13 Jesus provides a model y'all for prayer that summarizes essential elements for every believer. Before and oftentimes referred to as what? The Lord's Prayer. This passage contains a reverence and dependency. Jesus begins with the profound acknowledgments of God of uh, holiness. Our Father in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Y'all, this opening sets the tone for the entire prayer. Emphasizing that effective prayer starts uh, with a deepen and respect for who God is. Recognizing God's holiness serves as a reminder of his greatness in contrast to our human weakness fostering an attitude of humility. As the prayer unfolds, we see the emphasis on our dependency on God. Jesus teaches us to pray, y'all. Give us this day our daily bread, which captures the essence of trusting God uh, for our immediate needs. He didn't talk about our tomorrow needs or our years down the road need. He's talking about right now need. Immediate need. What are your immediate need? Pray for it uh, like right now. This simple request highlights an, an essence of, of, of truth. We are to approach God with the belief that he provides for us. It encourages us to surrender our worries because we worry about tomorrow. We shouldn't even worry at all, but we do. We worry about tomorrow, but God says let tomorrow take care of, of tomorrow. So surrender your worries and your anxieties uh, and your plans. I'm um, trusting that God knows uh, what's best uh, for us. By recognizing that our uh, essentials and substance comes uh, from him. Everything that we have uh, comes from God. We nurture a spirit of gratitude and reliance that cultivates a deeper uh, relationship with our creator. 
Furthermore, the communion 